What's up guys, welcome to Iron Mustang. On today's video, we're gonna be installing the timing cover on the 67 Fastback, and we're going to include the installation of the water pump as well as the harmonic balancer. Also, if you haven't taken the time to subscribe to my channel, please pause the video, click that subscribe button, and help me out as a growing channel. So this is what we're gonna be working with on the front end. I got a California Pony Cars timing cover and a Tough Stuff water pump. The reason I chose this timing cover here is I'm doing a 67 Mustang, which needs the front sump. I need provisioning for the dipstick to go in the front. I didn't particularly need this. However, I needed the water jackets with the extra beef up here so I can use a reverse direction water pump which uses these plates, you mount that up there, everything will fit. And the reason I went with the reverse direction water pump, I'm sure some people are wondering, is the guys over at Torque Storm told me this is the orientation I need for the supercharger. So the ports, the water jacket ports, are opposite for reverse direction usually. However, if you use one of the plates with the circle holes, then you can put both directions. So. Anybody who's doing a similar setup, I highly recommend this timing cover because it allows you options of which water pump you go with. So I got some boards set up here supporting our timing cover. Nice and sturdy. You need to get the main seal put in the front. I'm going to use some of this uh, gasket maker. It's the high temp kind. It probably doesn't matter, but black would probably be all right. I'm going to use that to kind of lubricate the area right here and it'll help drive it in. Got a nice thin layer in there. Just kind of help fill in any voids and drive it. We're gonna line it up. Nice and flush. So I'm gonna explain a couple things here real quick so I don't get everybody blowing me up in the comments. I'm loosening the oil pan right now because it was installed by my engine builder. I don't know why he didn't just put it on loosely. He said just try to slide the timing cover in and put a little RTV, it should be fine. I don't think it's gonna work like that. So I'm gonna loosen all my bolts up here in the front. At least try to get it down a little bit before I get my timing set on. I'm gonna have to end up redoing all this though because this oil pan that I got from Summit made by uh, Wheeland, it's got a leak in the corner. So before you do this, go ahead and prep your surface. Use a little razor blade, some scotch bright, whatever you need to do to get it looking all nice. Mine's looking pretty good here. I already kind of went through with a razor blade, kind of scraped off any little paint specks that came off. So last thing I'm going to do is just take a little bit of acetone. I already wiped it down with paper towel. Just kind of degrease the surface. So I've got this timing cover bolted up. No gas getting there. Got everything down snuggish. I'm gonna turn it over a few times. Just gonna inspect the inside, make sure I don't have any wear marks. And we're looking good. Now I'm gonna prep all my bolts. I'm gonna add a little anesthesia lubricant to the last probably about half inch of the bolt. Now I'm gonna go ahead and coat this entire gasket with a gasket. Adjust my camera before I put it on. I'm just gonna get these all in threaded, but loosely. put my harmonic balancer on to line everything up. Go ahead and throw a little bit of red grease in here. Line up a keyway here. So these stainless steel bolts say 11 pounds. Okay. Hand tighten them all first. Alright, 
when you stop to up here, you kind of got to wing it. You need one of the little stubby Allens. So to actually get our timing cover on, we got two bolts in the back here, two on the passenger side, two on the driver's side. Now while we're right here, we're gonna go ahead and put some assembly lubricant on our harmonic balancer bolt and get that installed. two bolts in there and I'm gonna wedge a bar in there to keep the motor from spinning while I torque the crank bolt. This is why you gotta teach the younger generation. Hey. I bought this kid a new gas cap hey. for his car right. and I asked him, Torque. what are you doing? <laughs> he said he's got the hood up to fix the gas cap. <laughs> Yeah, teach your children. We got our tough stuff reverse direction, high volume water pump ready to install. So this is gonna get sandwiched in between here with the gasket. And we're gonna put the two retention screws on the bottom here. And then put one more gasket, put all of them in place. My camera died there for a second. Went ahead and got all the RTV on the gasket that goes in between the plate here. Tighten this down. Get it nice and hand tight. And then I'm gonna slather the next one with some RTV. coating them like that seems a little messier but I just got a nice thin coat I don't have any thing excessive I put it on the part and everything it's all over the place and I end up putting way more than I need it's just a nice little thin coat it's right where it needs to be all my excesses on my gloves and I don't have a whole bunch of excess around my water jackets and you probably only need a coat around the water jackets. However, this water pump that I'm using, this reverse direction one, I don't know if they're all like this, but the one particular one I have, only has the bolts that go around the edge. It doesn't have the two center, so the clamping pressure is not 100% around the water jackets. So I went ahead and coated the whole thing. Hopefully, provide a better seal. Can't cause me any problems. Go ahead again, just put a little I'm gonna see I'm gonna tip all these bolts. Make sure before you do these, you also kind of verify all your bolt lengths. Because I had to get some different ones from what I had. Once again, all 11 pounds. Now to finish out this timing cover, we need to put on the cover plate right there where our manual fuel pump used to go because we're running an electric fuel pump. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna put that in, bolt it in and show you the finished product. Now when you buy these Torque Storm Superchargers, they give you a really nice uh, engraved plate for those. Um, the bad thing is it's a nice looking little piece of hardware and it's going to be down there where you're not really going to be able to see it. Hey. 
So I'm gonna torque those down to 220 inch pounds, which is about 18 foot pounds. And there's a shot of the installed product. So that's gonna wrap up the installation of the timing cover. If you wanna see how I finished off the rest of the front of this engine, go ahead and catch my Torque Storm Supercharger installation and you can see how we finished it up.